Hey guys, it's Lucas here from Sports Sis by Jellyman. NBA Finals Game 3, that's done and dusted. Here's our overview of Game 3 between the Bucks and the Suns and our preview to Game 4. The Bucks won that game 120 to 100 and dominated in the paint and hustled on defense. Home cooking was a big factor in this one as well. Giannis was once again dominant. 41 points, 13 rebounds and 6 assists. And his key there, he only took two three-pointers and made his free throws. 13 of 17 from the line. In game fours, he averages 22 plus points, 10 plus rebounds, and seven assists, but he's had back-to-back -back 40 in 10 games, so we potentially expect another big game from him, unless they look to double team him, and well, he'll find the open shooters in Holiday, Middleton, Tucker, Connaughton, and the rest. Now, Chris Middleton wasn't really aggressive again, had 18 points, seven rebounds, and six assists, but It'll look to be aggressive if Giannis is obviously dishing the ball out to him, and he had the ball in his hand a lot more in game three. He averages 16 points, seven rebounds, and five assists in game fours, and if Giannis is getting doubled, he'll need to be bigger. Uh, Drew Holiday now, 21 points, five rebounds, and nine assists. Hit some big threes in game three when it really mattered to hold that lead at the 10 plus points, and was great on defense against Chris Paul, and even when switching on to Devin Booker, Booker only shot 3 of 14, but we'll mention that a bit later. Holiday, he averages 15 points, 4 rebounds, and 9 assists, and we expect another big, good game 4 from him, as him and Middleton play a lot better at home, so a bit of home cooking from them two, rather than they do on the road. Pat Connaughton and Bobby Portis both chipped in. Connaughton had 8 points and hit some big threes when it mattered, and also was good on the boards, hustling on defense as well. Portis, he had 11 points and just brought the energy. Every time he does something good, he screams at that Bucks crowd and it gets them up and about. Now moving on to the Suns. Devin Booker didn't have his best game, as I mentioned. 10 points and only six rebounds, and actually only played 29 minutes, and most of those were in the first three quarters. He was three of 14, as we mentioned before, but we expect him to bounce back in game four. He actually averages 22 plus points, six rebounds and three assists, but as we mentioned, we expect a big game and a bounce back game from him in game four. Chris Paul was great again, had 19 points and nine assists, was obviously taken off late and didn't have much help, and it really affected him when DeAndre Ayton and obviously Devin Booker went off. Aiden in foul trouble. He averages 24 points and seven plus assists. That's Chris Paul in game fours. And we expect another big one if he wants to pinch a game on the road. DeAndre Aiden, as mentioned, foul trouble only 24 minutes. He actually had 18 points and nine rebounds in those 24 minutes and was dominant early. So if he plays a full game in game four, expect a massive game from him. He averages 15 points and 15 rebounds in game four. So as mentioned, we expect a big game from him in that one. Crowder, a bit of a difference actually kept the Suns in it. He had 18 points and six rebounds, and his three ball has actually been on the last two games. So unless they get a handout to him, they're obviously focusing a lot on Booker, Paul, and Bridges because he had a big game in game two, and obviously Aiton as well. So Crowder's potentially unwatched a lot of the time. Now, our game four predictions, we expect the Bucks to hold up at home because they, they haven't been great on the road throughout this whole playoff series, so they need to make sure they stretch it out to 2-2 or they're potentially going back to the Suns and Phoenix 3-1 down and most likely going to lose the championship if they don't hold 2-2. Now, who else can have a big game? Giannis, watch for his assists. We expect Monty to change it up a bit, potentially keep him out of the paint, potentially throw the double team at him, triple team, just show him bodies in the paint. So expect his assists to be up once again and potentially Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday out in that three ball. So Holiday shot the three ball well in game three. So once again, expect that potentially is three plus or four plus threes over in this one. Feel free to like, follow, and subscribe for more insights, stats on the NBA Finals.